In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform CSV file playback for step-based execution in the Stimulus Profile Editor inside of NIVR Stand. So we can see here I have a blank Stimulus Profile. I've named it Waves. And I'm going to import a CSV file. So let's go ahead and take a look at our CSV file here. And you can see that I have four columns. I have a timestamp column. And each timestamp represents how frequent the timestamps update in the stimulus profile. And they're represented in terms of milliseconds. So in this case, each individual point is updating every 30 milliseconds. And if you see, if I go all the way to the bottom, we'll finish just after 10 seconds, so 10,000 milliseconds. Going back to the top, you can see now that I also have three other columns. Each of these subsequent columns represents a channel in my system. So I'll have an angle channel, a sine channel, and a cosine channel. And what you see here is that I've just taken a series of angles and taken their sines and their cosines of one another. So now let's go look at the Stimulus Profile Editor and import the CSV file. So if I want to call a CSV file in the Stimulus Profile Editor, I simply select Real-Time Sequence Call, and I drag it into the into my stimulus profile and then it gives me the option to select a path. In this path I can, I can choose a real-time sequence or I can choose a CSV file for playback. So I'll select my browse button, I'll choose my sine wave or my, my waves, I'll import them and you can see I have three channels that show up as parameters in my stimulus profile and by de default they will look for an alias in my system definition. So it's looking for an alias for angle, an alias for sine, and an alias for cosine. Now in my system, I've created aliases for these, for these three values, so they automatically bind. Now if we look at my workspace, I have a system definition already running, and we're looking at the cosine channel and the sine channel. These are the aliases that we were looking at. So if I go back into my stimulus profile, select the run button, save my stimulus profile, we should have sine and a cosine wave that each run for approximately 10 seconds. And you can see here, we're creating cosine waves and sine waves. Now if I wanted more fidelity in my sine and cosine waves, I could create smaller time steps to represent this. Again, we're updating every 30 milliseconds here. And you can see that we've run for approximately 10, mil 10 seconds, and then the stimulus profile stops. So that's how you perform CSV file playback using the stimulus profile editor in NIVR stand.